Hello everyone, it's Jarrett Moore with the Enterprise DNA team back again today to do another video on a deep dive into bookmarks. In some of the previous videos that I've recently done, I showed you how I use bookmarks in my reports to hide certain visuals and do other things. Um, I've also showed you how to group bookmarks so you can better organize your bookmarks. If you haven't had a chance to view those videos, links to both of those videos will be in the description below. The reason for the video is today is that there isn't a whole lot of content out there right now or videos that I've seen that goes over the different functions of bookmarks. For example, if we head on over to the web here and head over to the Microsoft documents for bookmarks, there is a little bit of information here about bookmarks, the, the general functionality of bookmarks, you know, how to add them. But what we're going to dive into today is more on this area right here and go over the different functions or switches inside of this group here and go over all of these functions and see what they do with inside of Power BI. Link to this web page will be in the description below as well. So let's head back on over to Power BI and we'll go through how I set these up and, and how they each one of these function within Power BI. First thing that we'll need to do is go over here to the View tab. And when I'm on the View tab, we'll click on Bookmarks. And this right here in the Bookmarks pane just gives you a list of all the different bookmarks that I have saved uh, throughout, this, throughout this report. And this report, by the way, was actually one of my recent uh, submissions to the Enterprise DNA Challenges that we're having on the Enterprise DNA Forum. Um, most of these bookmarks were in there except for this bookmark here and this bookmark here. Those were just created to kind of show you the help uh, go through these functionalities today of bookmarks and how they function. All right, so let's dig in here. First thing we're going to do is click on the top bookmark and we'll hide this filters pane here. And when I click on top, this will actually show uh, the the top bookmark, which is actually this bookmark right here. Um, when, we, when you click on these three ellipses right here, um, this is where we have those options to update. Now, in order to, you know, how you would use the update function is, you know, once you create a bookmark and make the, the changes that you want on the page, the report page here, then you would hit update to save that current state on the report. The rename function, if I click on that, it, this will allow me to rename the bookmark in this pane right here if we wanted to change the name of the, of the bookmark. The delete function, pretty simple. It deletes the, the current bookmark. The grouping function is one that I did in my most recent video. And this would allow you to either group by um, group your bookmarks either by different pages. So if I had like five or six bookmarks on this page and five or six bookmarks on the sales scenarios page and another three to four on the email performance page, I could group those visuals or I would group those bookmarks according to what page they're on, so it's better and easier to navigate through those bookmarks. Um, once again, the link to that video will be in the description below. But today's main focus is on the data, the display, the current page, and then the toggle between either all visuals or selected visuals. So now we're gonna go over the data example here, bookmark that I created. All I do is create a bookmark and if we click on these three ellipses, um, you can see that I have the data switch here turned off. And, and when this is turned off, for example, if I were to go up here and change just to look at, let's say we want to look at fiscal quarter one. If I click on that right there, we're displaying fiscal quarter one results on the report page. 
And if I click on the data example where we have that turned off, it does not change the current state of the page. If I had the data example, if I had data turned on with a green check mark here, it would restate back to the original state where I didn't have anything selected here on the fiscal quarters. That's enough about the data. So now we're gonna go over to the display example. When I click on the display example, what the display example here, if I click on these three ellipses, is I actually have data turned off here and I have the display turned on. And what I went in and did when I created this bookmark is I actually went over here and clicked on the more options and clicked on spotlight. And that's how this table at the very bottom or this chart at the very bottom of the page is showing and none of those other ones are shown. So by having this display turned on, it allows you to show this information and hiding everything else at once without having to click over in the selection pane and hide all the different visuals. Now to go over the current page, we ha I have two different bookmarks set up here, one for current page on and one for current page off. And we'll go through that example, uh, examples now of, of what this switch does inside of the bookmarks. So with the example for current page on and current page off, what I did was I created this bookmark right here, which when you click on this bookmark, it's gonna take you to the up bookmark, which I did by over here um, by clicking on the action. I selected bookmark, and then I told it that I wanted to go to the up bookmark and then I just created a, a tool a tooltip here to where if we hover our mouse over here, um, we would just click on this uh, to view the up bookmark. Inside the Power BI desktop version here, you would have to hit control and click to view, but once you're um, viewing your reports either on the web, you would just have to click on this to actually um, view that. You wouldn't have to use the uh, control function as well. So with the current page on, I am telling it right now that I want to, um, if, I, if I click on this by hitting the control and, and the left mouse click, this is going to take me to the up bookmark. And you can see that I have current page is turned on. So if we go ahead and control kick, control left mouse click, it takes me to the up bookmark. That's when it when the current page is on, it allows you to jump from page to page. Now when current page is turned off, let me click over to the current page off bookmark. That's what this one is right here. If I highlight this bookmark, we can see here the action is I want it to go to see the current page on. And once again, I have that tooltip in there to help navigate or to, to help the viewer see things a little bit easier. But now if I if I left control kick again on this, this does not allow me to jump to, to a different page where I was before. It keeps it in the current state because I have current page turned off. That's the difference between current page on and current page off. Now to the last one we have here, if I clicked on selected visuals, click on the three ellipses, um, this is a toggle between all visuals or selected visuals. So if I had all visuals turned on, the bookmark would affect all of the visuals that are on this page here. But in this example right here, I have the all visuals turned off. So we'll show you here what this is gonna look like. So here's how we're gonna do this. With the selected visuals, um, what I did when I saved this bookmark is I went up here and I highlighted this particular slicer of our fiscal quarter 
And instead of viewing all four quarters, I just said, let me view quarter one. And then I went over here and turned on just the selected visuals, which is basically going to allow this bookmark for whenever I click on, whenever I click on this bookmark, where only uh, it, it will only if it will only view the selected or the the selected visual instead of all visuals on the page here so it will adjust this so when i click on for example let's go back to the top bookmark you can see where our bookmark reset where we're looking at all four quarters of fiscal data here but if i click on that selected visuals bookmark you can see that I have that that current state of I only want to look at fiscal quarter one results um, when I have this selected visuals check marked in here. So we'll go back over here to the top. Well, that's a well, that's all the tips that I wanted to show you today on the bookmarks and a little bit more. I hope, hope you learned some more information on how to navigate and use these different options within the bookmarks functions in Power BI. That's all for now. Thanks and have a great one.